Hey there, it's Andrea Gribble, and in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can control comments on your Instagram page for your school. Now, if you do social media for a K-12 school, you're gonna wanna hang out with me. I run a company called Social School for EDU, and we train social media managers from across the country to really celebrate your students with thousands and thousands of people each and every day. Now, it is a bright, sunshiny day, but sometimes the comments on your Instagram page not so bright and shiny. Sometimes they can be negative. They can might they might be attacking a student or a staff member and you want to control them. Well, today I'm going to show you exactly how you can control those comments. So, let's jump in. So, controlling Instagram comments is a little bit easier than Facebook. Um, actually, if you go onto any post, you can go up to the three dots in the corner. When you select that, see how it says turn off commenting? You can actually turn off commenting just for that specific post. Now I can click on the three dots and turn on commenting once again. Uh, but if you're ever worried about getting comments in on an Instagram post, you can actually turn off comments post by post. Now, another thing that you can do within Instagram is go to your comments and I've got one comment here. And again, up in the upper right hand corner, the three dots, um, you can actually manage comments uh, for that post there. And you have the ability for each person's comment. I can select that little circle and it gives me an option to delete a comment, which we don't recommend. Um, unless it totally violates your terms, um, always do a screenshot first. You can restrict or you can block somebody from ever making a comment. So let's hit that restrict button. Now what that's gonna do is that's gonna restrict that person from their comments showing up to anyone else in the future. It's not gonna hide or anything with this specific comment but you can see that it says only you and the person you restrict will see their new comments on your posts on your page, okay? So you can restrict an account going forward. You can also block them. Um, they won't be able to find your profile, posts, or your story on Instagram. Of course, you would only wanna do this at last resort, probably after you've talked to somebody on your leadership team to get approval of that. I'm just gonna hit cancel. Um, but then the other option up in the three dots is comment controls. And when you um, grab that, you can actually turn off commenting again for that post. It's just another spot for it. I'm going to turn it back on and then choosing your words to hide. And ah, there's a lot of bad words in there. We have a standard list of words that we hide uh, from automatically showing up on our posts on Instagram and on Facebook and on Twitter, um, we suggest that you do that as well. And one more spot to control comments kind of overall is up in the upper right hand hamburger menu there. We're gonna select that and go to settings and privacy. And within privacy, you're gonna see in under interactions comments. Um, and you have the ability, again, um, ignore this bad words um, on the bottom of my of my post um, but you can allow comments from people you you know from everyone you can allow them from just people you follow and your followers you can do people you follow or your followers um, and then you can block you know comments from specific people um, you can hide offensive comments so there's a lot of opportunities on Instagram to control the comments, to keep things positive, to celebrate your district. And I sure hope that you learned a little bit in this little tip. Now, until next time, keep telling those stories.